This was the dream of spaceflight as it was represented for many of us when we were kids. I think there's a national cultural identity that is built into this visual of this big winged spaceship sitting on top of these big giant tanks. Since 1986, the Space Shuttle Pathfinder has been on display at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama. For over three decades, Pathfinder has inspired museum guests and space campers alike as a reminder of the accomplishments of the Space Shuttle program. However, Pathfinder actually began its journey in the late 70s as a NASA test article. Pathfinder really was just what its name says. It was a Pathfinder. It showed the way, and so it really was exciting for all of us to see. In 1977, NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville constructed Pathfinder to assist in the testing of the newly built Space Shuttle orbiters. So the Pathfinder orbiter was basically made to be put into the cranes, to go through the doorways, to be carried in all of the carriers and other ground support equipment, to make sure that all the dimensions that were gonna be used in the flight orbiters actually worked and made sense. And it was a lot cheaper to do it with Pathfinder because it was basically made out of steel frame, sheet metal, some you know two by fours and, and other things. Pathfinder was designed to the same dimensions although it was a, a very crude structural member. We hauled out all over the country, every place we were gonna to have to take an orbiter. And so that was a very valuable of the program. It went into like the dynamic test stand here in Huntsville. It went into the vehicle assembly building down at Kennedy Space Center. They put it out on the runway for the shuttles at Kennedy and did some training for the people that were making sure all the engines were safe um, after the, sh you know, the shuttle landed. By April of 1981, the Space Shuttle fleet had begun voyages to and from space. The world had once more fallen in love with the space program. No longer needed, Pathfinder had been placed in storage. But it soon found a second life thanks to the America-Japan Society. They wanted an orbit, of course. All of our flight orbiters were being used, so that wasn't going to happen. So Pathfinder was reconfigured. We put a, a fuselage and a shell around it and made it look like an orbiter. With a budget of $1 million, Teledyne Brown Engineering was hired to refurbish Pathfinder to make it more closely resemble an actual shuttle orbiter. So what they did was on the front, for instance, they took off this big sheet metal uh, form that was just sort of a cone. Um, and they added these structures made out of plywood and fiberglass adhesives to give it the cockpit shape, the rounded nose, that sort of thing. Um, they added Ohm's pods, these you know uh, pods on either side of the tail. And then they also added kind of front edges to the wings to give that rounded over aerodynamic look, as well as to the top surface of the wings, um, a lot of material to again build up and give you that sort of aerodynamic shape that you expect a wing to have. Donning a new look, Pathfinder journeyed to Japan to take part in the Great Space Shuttle Exhibition from June 1983 to August 1984. Upon returning to the United States, Pathfinder was loaned by NASA to the U.S. Space and Rocket Center. As shuttles are being readied for takeoff in Florida, this unique space shuttle display is taking shape in Huntsville, Alabama. The Marshall Space Flight Center is now joining forces with the state of Alabama's Space and Rocket Center, the home of U.S. Space Camp, to bring the shuttle to the public. NASA's first contribution to the exhibit was Pathfinder. Although never meant to fly, it was used in the early ground test at NASA's Marshall and Kennedy Centers that cleared the way for the orbiters that follow. Then, in 1988, NASA loaned the Rocket Center the main propulsion test article external tank, the first external tank ever built, as well as two experimental solid rocket boosters. These were mated with the orbiter and placed on a stack outside, forming a full shuttle stack. It completes that manned space flight collection that we now have with the shuttle. And you really must walk under uh, this massive vehicle to appreciate the size and the power that that uh, machine can harness when it lifts off the pad. 
believe me, this is truly an awesome exhibit. A source of inspiration and an icon for the city of Huntsville, Pathfinder has been on display now for 32 years. As such, the elements have not been kind to the shuttle, with a preservation effort starting in 2021. The plan is to take down the orbiter to best assess what needs to be done in order to preserve the original artifact. So far, based on what we've been able to learn, the metal elements, the big structural elements are in pretty good shape, but the, what we've sort of been referring to as the aesthetic elements, these items that were added on um, for it to become a showpiece or a display piece haven't weathered as well. The final result in terms of preserving the history of what we have here um, and making it look good and look right will be worth every minute of work that goes into it and every penny that's spent on it. The Rocket Center is working closely with NASA on a carefully executed schedule to bring down the orbiter in sections. The whole preservation process will require millions of dollars and multiple years to complete, all with the goal of eventually having Pathfinder once more on display for the public. You could be nowhere else but Space Camp to see Pathfinder and the stack out here. We have to preserve the one-of-a-kind artifacts like Pathfinder because those are the things that remind us of where we've been and kind of shine the light on where we're going. We here at the Space and Rocket Center have something that doesn't exist anywhere else in the world. We have the whole stack, the mated vehicle, the shuttle with the fuel tank, with the solid rocket boosters, there isn't one anywhere else. There hasn't been one ever since 2011 when we flew the last launch of the shuttle. So it is, I, I say it's irreplaceable. There isn't another one like it anywhere. We need to preserve it because it's the only place on earth that you can see this.